what's going on guys? In this video we are going to cover 10 things that every single one of you dirty bomb players must know. Anyways, I hope you guys are ready because we're just gonna blaze through these things so without further delay, let's go. Number 1, Quick Voice Chat. There are a buttload of different commands in Dirty Bomb, but the two most important ones in my opinion are V21, which is a uh, medic, and V22, which is the call for ammo. Number 2, the most effective way to take out the EV is by explosion. Skyhammer's air bombing, uh, Kira's laser are the most effective. Then you have Fragger's frag grenades, which also do decent damage. If the EV is driving, remember Skyhammer's air bomb will line up perpendicular to the direction you toss the marker. So I like to position it for most coverage uh, so that the bombing will happen parallel to the EV's path. Alrighty, number three. You can mute players or vote kick them by going to the scoreboard, right click, and then left click on their name. Again, that is scoreboard, right click, then left click. Um, it'll bring up the vote, kick, or uh, mute options. F5 is another one. It's a hotkey to activate the vote menu. You can either vote, kick here again, or uh, vote map. Number four. The UI settings in an actual match versus the UI settings in the game's main menu are pretty different. Um, the UI settings in game, you can actually change your crosshair type to full or dot. Um, you can change the color, and you can also even change the dot size. Uh, all very, very handy little adjustments you can do uh, for your crosshair. Now, number five, you know, activate those hit sounds. Uh, that's also in the UI settings in game. In the death cam, I can see a lot of you do need to improve your aim. Uh, this will improve your muscle memory. If you activate those hit sounds, it will improve your muscle memory as your brain will have the audio cue to associate the hits with. Uh, also, aim for headshots. You also get like a little ding uh, audio cue for the headshots. Speaking of aim, uh, for number 6, you generally want to hit fire and dirty bomb. The cone of fire of the weapons in this game, they are all pretty tight across the board in general. I know you have sniper rivals and things like that, but Hip firing lets you stray faster and for me, it's much easier to track moving targets at closer ranges when I hip fire. I like to aim down sights if there's a target like way out in the distance who is stationary. <laughs> uh, that's just how I like to do it. Aiming down sights will negate that cone of fire bloom, but 90% of the time, I would suggest you hip fire. Number 7. You have two whole seconds of invincibility upon being revived. This gets cancelled, however, if you perform a combat or ability action. Number 8, Direct Hit. You guys may have seen this little notification a lot with the ammo pack and med packs, but what it means is that if you land a med pack directly on an ally, they get around 20 HP restored instantly. For ammo, uh, the target gets a 15% cooldown reduction for their ability. Number 9, Secondary Objectives can be taken down with conventional weapons. This may take a while, but totally doable if you don't want to arm the C4. And finally, number 10, remember you can look around if you're planting the C4 slash constructing. Super helpful if you want to watch your back and react quickly if someone sneaks up on you. Well with that guys, those are 10 things that I feel every Dirty Bomb player should know. I know we sped right through this, but if there's anything I missed, please let me know in the comments section below. And as always, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. 